Alright folks, what is up? This is One Big Bugger, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. Today's Friday. I'm finally getting it on time. Today's our weekly uh, skin showcase. And I've got a total, if they all work, uh, of 17 skins to bring you. Um, I still don't have a DAF truck, even though I have managed to purchase a new garage. The reason I don't have a DAF truck is I actually haven't found a DAF dealership. I did not know this. So I can't buy a DAF truck. It's annoying. It's like I found every dealership but DAF. So I can't do any DAF skins right now. And I apologize for any DAF fans out there that have been waiting maybe for a DAF skin. I really am sorry. But um, to be honest, most skins today, of course, are for the Volvo and for the Scania. I got a few for Man, but Avecos and Renaults um, and Majestics. No, nothing this week. And, um, I apologize about that. But cannot be helped. You know, I can only show the skins that people make for the trucks that they make them for. And, you know, Volvo and Scania are pretty much the top of the list when it comes to popular. And if I had to place the third most popular truck, it would be man. So, anyways, let us get started. Uh, so we'll start off with, uh, of course, the big Volvo FH, the, the new one. And this one right off the top is called Fallen Angel. Now, this will have... Oops, <laughs> sneak peek of the next skin. This one does have the same issue as before, where this will appear on all your trucks. But it doesn't on the other trucks. Oh, man, that's badass. Why didn't you do it like that, dude? Damn, look at that. <laughs> original skin so yeah it'll appear like that on all of your trucks but it will only um, be like this on this truck all the other trucks will just be the default skins replaced so this is a really pretty skin and apparently I found a way to make it prettier <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute but um, this is called Fallen Angel and you see the destroyed city in the background here. Um, don't know what city. Could be a generic city. Could be Seattle. Could be anything. And it's got the beautiful uh, broken feather here. The deteriorating feather along the uh, side skirt. And in the front, I'm guessing that's just more continuation of the city. It actually kind of makes it look cool. The top of the truck, there's nothing. It's just colorization. And then both sides are same, same. It seems to be like a recurring theme with me. Both sides are the same. So there's no difference in the side. It's a nice blue with white, but I'd be damned if I didn't just do this. And look, look right there. Look right in there, the black. I think actually that is a little cooler than going deep. But look at this. Why didn't he do it in this, man? Look at how badass that looks. Oh, yeah, across the back you have the, I'm going to guess this is the Angel of Death, the big sky of sitting on top of a cross tombstone uh, but look 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 at this man you get this and you just straighten the black I don't know if this changes anything or not oh, it does change the background color look look you can even turn this to white tell me that's not awesome tell me that's not awesome like that so you can fiddle around a little bit with the color and I think this looks just absolutely badass right here this may replace my Bruce Lee skin. <laughs> just being honest with you. This just may replace my Bruce Lee skin. Right there. That color. That skin. That looks really, really awesome. But it's a really cool skin. Now, as you saw, yeah, we have a... We, you got a sneak peek of the next skin. And, of course, this is a Grand Theft Auto V skin. I'm surprised... Um, excuse me one second. Pardon, I actually, uh, I had to burp there. That's definitely something you don't want to do on a uh, microphone. But this GTA 5 skin, and you can see on the side skirts, it's get the, the game logo 5. And you have all three characters featured in the game, I believe from the covers on the truck. I don't know their names very well because I don't have the game. I don't have a console. I'm a PC player. But I like to get the little rock, rock star symbol down in the corner here. 
And uh, I believe this is everyone's favorite character, even though I don't know his name. He's the like the nuts hillbilly guy. And then on the side here, again with the rock star symbol down bottom. Looking really nice. In the front, it's just colorization. You can see actually see the hills right here. And then on the top, it does have the game uh, Grand Theft Auto V up top. I think it's really cool if you're a fan of GTA V, you're looking for something a little different. It's really well done. It looks really pretty. It looks really solid, smooth, polished. Uh, I really like it. It uh, shows quite a bit of uh, uh, fanboyism, and there's nothing wrong with that, provided it's not like Call of Duty, which I just alienated like nine-tenths of the internet population probably. But that's it for the Volvo on this particular set. I believe our next one is the man truck. So, have I really not done this yet? Fine. Alright, we got the regular chassis. I need the skirts on the truck. Thank you. And we have the big... Okay. So, let's confirm order on that before we go and paint this. And Shazam! This is actually known as Death Poet. Now, you can see on the side here, there are words. I am become death, shatterer of worlds. You can't see this too well. I'm honestly not sure what it is. I'm believing... Oh, now I see it. Took me a minute to my eyes to finish it. This is the skull right here of death and this is his cloak surrounding him this is his hand and he's holding a bunch of cards all right now i see it. the front is just flat black as is the top and then again on the side but you get this little unfortunate you know that's the um exhaust vent there unfortunate cutting through but it is what it is and then down on the side skirt here you have uh the specter with the sky holding a skull with a graveyard in the background. The other side is same, same. And then on the back of the truck, you have this beautiful, uh, wicked-looking um, specter with the scythe and uh, you know, surrounded in lightning, basically. It's a really... It's a skin that manages to look badass without going over the top. And the fact that it's a man skin makes it even better because, again, man skins are rare... Uh, they st this this is where the rare starts. Man skins. Basically, man, Aveco, uh, Renault, Daff, you know, anything that's not a Scania or Volvo. <laughs> Basically, you consider a rare skin. So, this is really nice. I really like it. Um, part of me wishes I actually started a man truck on my um, uh, hard mode. Just for be different, just to go outside the norm. I think it would have been a lot of fun. I'm sorry, I'm drinking as I'm uh, a soda as I'm going. Uh, I'm real thirsty right now, and I'm not sure why I shouldn't be. But I just be outside the norm of what I usually do. One, because just one of the things I love about man is the giant windshield. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Cool skin on the man truck. You just can't deny it. Um, I would say it's something nice and wicked to drive around in for sure. And then finally, I think we're on the Scania. So, Zam, first one. I'm not sure what this is called. I believe this is just labeled Crazy Skin. Oh, this one is actually Blue Truck. Or this is Blue Truck, because I got a couple that are just labeled Crazy Skin. And... I didn't match them up to when I downloaded them because usually people name them like Blue Truck is actually named Blue Truck. Okay? But the other two are named Crazy Skin and it's like okay, it's called Crazy Skin, but you know most people match it to what it means. And the two Crazy Skin ones I have is just Crazy 10 and Crazy 14. It's like uh, but whatever. Um, this is really nice. It's simplistic. It's minimalistic. Um, it kind of remains in the elegant but outstanding. You know, it kind of walks that borderline with all this blue trim. 
blue trim all the way around and in the top it's almost like a big blue racing stripe right up the center with the blue grill and even the Scania across the front is tinted uh, blue reflection so that's really nice and of course it's got a, a, a nice pretty woman on the side but definitely not over showing this is something that you could drive around in um, and not have to worry about someone going who's that on the side of your truck unless you have somebody that's really jealous um, so I really like that subtle touch on the side with the with the woman leaning back against. I'm guessing this almost looks like an engine back here. It's kind of hard to tell. But it's really nice, uh, just the blue with the black. I didn't even see, I don't know if this is typical of the skin or this is typical of the truck, but you get the Scania symbol right up here in the corner. And this, you know, nice subtle touches. It's definitely something to go for. Um, if you're looking for something, if you like blues, uh, you know, if you want your truck to look a little more subtle, maybe a little more elegant, this is definitely something to go along lines. If you're looking for, you know, you want that pretty woman on the side of your truck, but you can't go something too outlandish, like a while ago when I did my Taste Me uh, on my Volvo, uh, this is something definitely for you. And uh, finally, see, yeah, see, paint job Scania 14. So I'm going to guess this means Crazy Skin 14. Oh, yeah, this is why I showed you. This is the skin on the Volvo. Yeah. As you can see, it's just... Yeah, it's just the default. But Shazam! Yes! Spider-Woman! It says Spider-Woman right across the top of the Scania there. It's got the red... Uh, oh, I guess that reflects blue naturally? <laughs> Live and learn. I really never knew that as long as I've had this game. Uh, but the, definitely the red highlights in and around the grill on the top of the truck divided by the black bar here. And Spider-Woman in there. And then you have the yellow uh, on the bottom of the cab. Yes, I'm avoiding that on purpose. I'll go get back to that. Then you have Spider-Woman kind of shown down here. She looks a little incomplete because it's all red. And her red costume doesn't have a nice black outline. But then, actually, in a way, it kind of looks cool. And then the spider web on the side. And then it's the same on the top. It's completely spider-webbed. On the cab itself, the fins have... Uh, spider webs on the sides, top corners, which is really cool. The back is just a big spider web on it by itself. And on the sides, you have the ever shapely, uh, finally touching on this, uh, get your minds out of the gutter, Spider Woman. Now, I do remember Spider Woman when I was a kid. And yes, I had a crush on her when I was a kid. Um, I don't know too many kids, you know, young boys who didn't. Uh, her, her cartoons, for sure. Uh, she was ever very shapely as she is here. And she was definitely something that, um, you know, caught my eye as a young kid. And, you know, I can't deny that it looks really nice here. It's definitely colorful, definitely stand out. Uh, if you're looking for make some interesting, uh, maybe even themed somehow, um, screenshots and whatnot, then here you go. This is actually a well done skin. I really like it. Uh, it's something I would honestly consider using just because of the yellow and red with the black stripes. It's different, and I like different, and it stands out, and I really just think it's impressive. I think the only thing that might have been better is if instead of putting a web on the back of the truck like this, they put another Spider-Woman picture back here, but of a different pose. I'm surprised you don't see more superhero um, skins like Wonder Woman... Or Black Canary, Superman. So we've seen Batman a little bit, but you know, I'm surprised you don't see more. But it's a real, really well done skin on the Scania, and it's something I really, truly appreciate, especially coming from my childhood, the Spider Woman skin. And uh, just to show you real quick, the blue truck skin does also. I only unzipped one. I only have one in, so the one. Blue truck skin covers both the Scania R and the Scania Streamline. So just to show you that real quick. The blue truck skin does cover both the Streamline and the Scania R. Okay, just so you know. Anyways, let us swap over to our next set of skins. And continuing on with our skins, i got to say that sometimes this gets a little frustrating because skins overwrite skins depending on what slot they put them in. And people tend to always use the same couple slots when it comes to making skins, and it's really annoying. 
So it's like, okay, I selected five skins, but I only see four. I've got to find out which one's not working. And then, of course, the skins don't quite match up to the names that they are in the files, and then it becomes a pain in the ass. <sighs> but we shall endeavor nonetheless. If I miss a skin, that's going to be the reason why. Because I can't figure out what the hell's working or not. Now, believe it or not, this will not showcase a skin in this section. Can you believe that? The big Volvo FH does not have a skin on this round. <laughs> Amazing. We will start out with the man. And the man is right here. You can see it. Hobbit skin by Monster. I think this is really neat. I really do. Now, unfortunately, Gandalf <laughs> gets his face cut right off. Um, I wonder if I can fix that uh, by changing the cab. Uh, if I change the cab on it, I'm going to be honest, it doesn't look like it because this doesn't move. So, sadly, um, that's just how it's going to be. Uh, Gandalf with the exhaust that runs right through his face. But still a pretty scenery on the background. Then on the back we have Bilbo walking out of his hobbit hole um, into a beautiful blazing ball of fire. <laughs> It's still, I'm sorry, because I just took a look at it. It looks like there's a, a nuclear explosion right about here. But I know it represents him walking out into an adventure in new bright dawn and beginnings for him. And then on the side, um, uh, you're going to hate me because I don't know the dwarf leader's name. Uh, uh, the only dwarf I know is Bomber, because he's my favorite. I love Bomber. I think he's hilarious. Um, but here you have, and there's the cauldron on the side there. Uh, with a mountainous background, it looks like. And then you can see, it looks like other dwarfs sleeping right around the fire. <laughs> Practically in the fire at that point. Uh, the Hobbit, right across the front of the truck. Nothing on top, just black. And then uh, on the sides here, the Desolation of Smaug. Ever since I heard it's pronounced a certain way in the trailer, Smaug. That's how I have to pronounce it. I used to pronounce it Smog. Smaug. So I'm pretty sure that's actually how you're supposed to pronounce it. It's not smog. It's smog. So whatever. But I like how he has it written right in the indentations of the man's side skirts. You know, putting to use the fact that the man's side, skirt, side skirts are a little different than the others. So that's really neat how it's like on the indented sides there. And again, it's a man's skin. And that's rare to come by. So uh, definitely something I wanted to showcase. Especially, I like The Hobbit. And I will be um, watching the video, uh, watching the movie at some point. Hopefully it's still in the theaters when I get paid. I'd like to go and see it in the theaters. Uh, there's not too many movies I support in the theaters. Uh, last year, quite literally, and I'm going to count as the end of the year, uh, or you know, the end of this year, there's only been two movies that I supported in the theaters, and that was The Man of Steel and Pacific Rim. And this is one I will actually support in the theaters as well, I'm thinking. Uh, just because I want to see Smaug on the big screen. But it's really well done. I mean, the only real blight to it cannot be helped, and that's the exhaust right up here. You might be able to get a custom cab for the man that doesn't have this. And then you can paint it right over. I believe I may even have that. I don't have it turned on here, and I'm afraid to for messing up my profile. But you can probably get a custom cab that gets rid of this blight line here, and you can actually have the full scene on the side. But anyways, our next skin, believe it or not, I have two for the Volvo FH16 Classic. I believe I have two, yes. Number one, bam, Planet Express. <laughs> That's right, if you're a fan of, um, um, oh god. Futurama. God, I don't, it's like I haven't watched it in so long, but I know it because I, you know, everyone love I love Bender just as much as everybody else. But painted in the Planet Express colors with the light green uh, separated with a red stripe, the dark green, and the Planet Express logo on the side and on the back. Same on the side as well. Just flat, fl uh, flat playing uh, paint up top and along the side skirts, the same color here. Painted to be just like the Planet Express ship. And, of course, Bender's famous saying on both sides across the top, Bite my shiny metal ass. Uh, if you're a Futurama fan, I am. Uh, but I don't drive this truck. 
uh, otherwise I might use this uh, definitely you can you can now drive your own Planet Express delivery vehicle uh, I think it's something really cool <laughs> it, it's simple but awesome you know and you gotta love those combinations so the next one is just called Shadow Blue and it's just um, you know f flat out black paint with a blue highlight kind of abstract squirrel it almost looks like smoke that somebody kind of twirled along and it's on the side skirts and on the back of the truck and on the top you know so somebody kind of used the same swirls all over and on the front here I think it looks really neat um, I don't know how else to explain it other than the fact that the only thing I kind of don't like is this side skirt goes this way and this side skirt goes this way where everything else is kind of universal so I thought maybe that this side skirt should be flipped, but that's just my personal opinion. I thought it looked really pretty. It's something in you know in the elegant uh, standpoint in terms of trucks, especially uh, showing some love for the old uh, Volvo FH16 Classic, uh, something that hasn't had too many skins uh, in a while since the Volvo FH, uh, the new one came out. So it's definitely something to look into if you're looking for something just a little different, but keeping in the classic uh, range right about now. Uh, definitely a nice skin very simple um, it's still looking very good how often did I repeat myself there I don't know so now we move on to the Scania R and to doom I think this is the only skin oh no there's another one this is the crazy 10 now this is called Moonlight Express it's flat black and it's got the same symbols on the side. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, but it's big Viking by the moon. The one minor drawback to this skin is this picture must have been pretty small. Because even zooming in, you can see it's a little fuzzy around the edges. So it's not very well defined. It's not high def. But it still looks really nice. And you often won't be looking at it that close. Um, across the top, of course, it has the Scania symbol. Um, Scania logo uh, flat black on the front and of course you saw on the back it is the Scania logo come to life basically and it looks really nice um, if, you, if you're kind of into like the badass Viking Norse kind of look this is definitely something to run into right here um, I don't know how to explain it beyond that you know it manages to be it's one of those skins it's badass without going over the top you know, the skirts are just plain black. You know, the truck's all flat black color, which is the... I really like this logo on the back. That looks really nice on the back. And then, you know, of course, the Viking symbol by the moon. And this next one, this is the Crazy 10 I was talking about. And it's called Piston Rider. <laughs> yeah, that, I'm pretty sure that's an innuendo for what you think. So we'll start off with the front. V8 power kind of looked like it's spray painted across the front there. With the blue, almost purple, you know, light purple, uh, very light blue, bluish gray, maybe even steel blue, I don't know, coloring. And then being broken up with the black along the sides. Black is looking more like a trim. Um, V8 power, and it's the same on both sides, so we'll just focus on one side. Same, same. V8 power again. Spray look like it's spray painted here with the big V8 piston, and of course you get your uh, pinup painted girl on there. Uh, money in G-string included. <coughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, excuse me a sec. I am stretching. Uh, I've been having trouble sleeping lately. Um, not to mention it's gotten uh, quite breezy as hell right about now. Um. But, you know, it, 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 of course, it's e easy to see. It's meant to represent a stripper on a stripper pole. Um, but at least she's clothed, sort of. I've seen worse. And you see the two pistons crossed over here in the big V formation, uh, symbolizing the V8. And, of course, on the side skirt as well here, the big V8 um, piston symbols. I like that it's really simplistic there and then just you know the rest is just the flat color and then on the back the big symbol the V8 on the piston right in the back here as well 
Uh, of course, this is to represent the Scania V8 Power, um, you know, king of the road kind of deal. And actually, I didn't even mention there's a little bit of a design just down here on the end as well. I actually like it, and not just because of the girl on the side. Um, I always liked, and you know, the fact that Va that Scania, you know, flaunted V8. Um, they've always believed in it, and one of the things that attracted me to it was that you get all these big V8 symbols on it, and this has about as much V8 symbolism as you can get uh, without going overboard. So. I really truly like it. Uh, Piston Rider, V8 Power, Crazy 10, call it what you will. I actually think it's a really nice skin. The colors are really nice. It's nice to see people pick uh, a color to go along with the black outside of the norm. Uh, so much outside of the norm, I'm not exactly sure what to call it. Uh, but take it for what you will. I think it's a really awesome skin. And then I believe we have one. Oh, no, I wanted to show you that um, the Moon Rider does also cover the Scania R. Unfortunately, the... Um, one sec. I have to cough. The, uh, the Piston Rider does not, but the Moonlight Express does. Moonlight Express does cover the Scania R. Now, of course, you get this in here, but much like you saw in my other Scania, uh, you can get... Uh, a cab that doesn't have that. It is possible. So you can get the full effect of the picture. So this skin does cover the Scania and Scania R as well. So that's it for this batch of skins. Let's move on to... I'm going to say this way. It could possibly be the last batch of skins if everything works. Or I may have to bring you a few individual skins because they won't work with other skins. We'll have to see. But either way, let's move on to our next skin, shall we? All right, and we're back. There's one skin left to show after this, I think. There should be two, because uh, I said 17, but I think one of them may actually be the Sun Shield for one of my vehicles. I'm not sure if it's my Volvo or my Scania, depending on the profile, because it says Sun Shield. Uh, and I remember downloading a new Sun Visor. Uh, so I honestly think that's what that is, is it's actually a Sun Visor Shield. Uh, and not a skin. So I apologize for that. But there should be, there might be at least one more skin if it works. Um, the other thing is that skin could be for the Scania R700. I didn't quite look at that. And now that I think of it and I think about what skin it is, that, yeah, it's for the Scania R700, which is a download truck. Uh, it's a custom truck, a modded truck, which I don't have. So actually, this will be the last set of skins, and I apologize for that. Uh, I don't have the Scania R700, and to be honest, I should download it, because there are a lot of skins that are made for the Scania R700. So, that being said, uh, provided the Scania R700 does not conflict with um, the Scanias that I have, I'm going to go and find the Scania R700 and download it. But anyways, we, we will start off with the big Volvo FH. And yes, this is the Coca-Cola with the polar bear truck. We're still getting the winter themes here. And you see the little uh, panda bear uh, on the back. Or panda bear. What the f where the frick did I go? Too much Warcraft Pandaria. Polar bear on the back with the Coca-Cola skin. Uh, symbol, rather. Uh, man, I really need to catch up on my sleep. With the Coca-Cola uh, name on the top, on the back here. And then here's the Coca-Cola symbol with the name. And again, the little polar, uh, polar bear. A nice little snowy scene across the sides here. Both sides are same, same. It's really nice. Uh, it's a really well done skin. I love the, again, the divides the change, the, you know, split the colors on the truck to low high. And you even get another divide in the skin, uh, the color on the skin up here is really nice. I really like it. It's really, uh, it's really cute, is what it is. And this one, I know for a fact, comes with trailer. There is a trailer to this one, which you will see in the link in the description down below. And I really apologize for kind of like my butt dragon on this point, being a little down in energy. I really have been having trouble sleeping. 
uh, about three, four nights ago, I laid down to sleep, and I l slept in the wrong position. I slept in that wrong position way too long. I ended up pulling a muscle in my side. And there's very few positions I can sleep in comfortably. And um, now because of that, P muscle pull I can't sleep in that one one particular position that's my favorite position to sleep in so I get up and toss and turn more often at night making it more difficult to sleep and last night I had the wonderful pleasure of waking up for no reason apparently at first and I must have been subconsciously that I did this I reached to, you know to wipe my face and I felt something on my face and it didn't take me long to discern it was a huge cockroach. And you can imagine how much I woke up at that point. Yeah, that was fun as I flung it off me to God knows where in this room. Haven't seen one of those in a while, so it came as quite a surprise. They're not uncommon here in Hawaii, especially upcountry uh, where I live. Um, you would think, you know, oh, this must be uncommon. No, actually, they're not. They're really not uncommon up here. It's depressing. Anyways, you didn't come to hear about that. Do I have... I don't think... No. Although, yeah, this does suffer the same, uh, the same deal as the other ones. So, Scani R. This one has actually quite a few. Um... First off, this is called Phoenix, F-E-E-N-I-X, I believe. And you can see the classic uh, Firebird right here. This is actually a really nice representation of the Phoenix there. And then, I love this, the snake. Pretty sure it's a snake. Yeah, it's a snake. Wrapped around the V8 symbol. That's really nice. And on the back, you know, Scania with the skull, with the Scania logo, but a skull in the back. Uh, you know, Scania or die. <laughs> That's a true Scania uh, fan right there, man. I don't even think I can go that hardcore because I do like the, the big Volvo FH some as well. And of course, same, same on the sides. As you saw the front, the front just has these nice red highlights around the grill, around the lights, and around the bottom. And the top is just plain flat black. So it's a really nice, elegant, but badass skin. And there's that Scania or die on the back. I really like it. It's uh, really, really cool, and I would highly recommend it to anyone that's looking for really more hardcore Scania skin. Next one is called Starlight Express. I have no idea. It almost looks like some sort of kid show by all these characters across the top. They look like real people in costume. Not animated, but I could be wrong. And it says, it says Starlight Express. This, I'm going to believe, is for the sh their show. Maybe they're a band kids band or group i have no idea but it's just really well done you see boots here uh, and actually they look like roller roller skates i have no idea who the starlight express is and see here on the back is it some kind of broadway show stage show i, I don't know but i like the skin that's all i can say about it see it says starlight express with the i'm guessing this is going to be the logo of it and then the front is just kind of plain it comes into the sides, but doesn't touch the grill. The grill remains flat black, as does the top. So you get the, like the black stripe right up the back. I don't know where Starlight Express comes from, and I apologize. I should have gone and looked it up, but I didn't. So all I can do is say sorry. Well, it's actually nice, and if you know what the Starlight Express is, maybe you're a fan of it, uh, maybe you just like the skin, I would recommend it. It looks, it looks good. <laughs> what else can you say beyond that? It looks good. Stockpole. This is one of those skins that goes elegant and simple. Uh, again, it's another Scania symbol skin, as you can see along here. The Scania symbol coming right off the edge. Stockpole right up front. I think this is a company, a towing company, because I've seen a few of them. But this one I like because the black with the red and then the Scania symbol. And it's flat black, uh, flat red on the side, flat black on the uh, side skirts. And like I said, the division between colors, even though this, the black goes right up into the grill, and then it's just the sides and the top of the Scania that are uh, red. It's another one of those ones that go right into elegant. 
uh, but badass as well. Just just based on the Scania symbol on the side. Even if it didn't have this, it would actually be a really nice skin. Uh, you really couldn't deny it. And then finally, we're going to go to the Scania Streamline. As you can see here, uh, also, the uh, Phoenix skin does work for the Scania Streamline. But this is the one I wanted to showcase here. This is the Scania Fallen Angel. And, uh, man, what can you say about this? The Fallen Angel on the side here. Uh, the wings, and you can see his legs are a bit torn up down here, but he's got the shattered wings. And then the big eyeball staring at you, and this is all colored down here. And the color's up in here. Uh, right across the top, never walk alone, kind of done in the blood scrawl. The grill remains looking like a chrome look with the blue um, patterns around it. And then same, same on the sides. This, this skin, and on the back here, man, the rider... Uh, and, and he's pointing at you, you know, that is, th this is a skin that just goes straight into badass, you know, there's, it, it, you could call it elegant, but I say it just goes straight into badass, and it goes in there full steam ahead, you know, I really do like the skin, if I drove the Scania R, this would be one skin I would definitely look into, um, for the Scania R, no joke, this is one skin I would definitely look into, um, I don't know what to say beyond that. It's it it's and one of my favorite skins on the showcase. It really is. It looks really nice. Or you know, the Scania R, Scania Streamline. If I drove the Scania Streamline, this would be the skin I'd go with. Ugh, God, I'm tired. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I apologize. Like I said tired and makes me do all sorts of stupid things and I already do a lot of stupid things so it makes it even worse <laughs> anyways so I think we'll have one more skin but I'm gonna be honest with you I'm gonna save that skin for next week just because I've already bought you, brought you quite a few skins I think 15 total uh, and I'm like I said I, I really apologize for the comment commenting quality of this video I really haven't been on it today. I know it. I feel it. I sense it. Uh, I've almost got half a mind to go back recording it if these weren't such a pain to set up and do to begin with. But I really just haven't been feeling well the past couple days because my sleep has been all messed up. So hopefully uh, I'll have that straightened out uh, next week because, you know, weekends, I've taken weekends to myself. I don't do videos on weekends anymore, just so I can catch a break. So hopefully over the weekend, I can get myself sorted out, get some good sleep in, and uh, get out of this um, this whole debacle um, you know, of sleeping problems. But anyways, that's going to be me done for this, folks. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you. Until next time, this is going to be one big bugger. I'm going to be signing out, and I'll see you then.